हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर न्यू वीडियो विद अ न्यू कंटेंट द ऑपरेशन ऑफ डेनफॉस वी एफ डी हाउ टू सेट पैरामीटर एंड इट्स वायरिंग एंड एवरी थिंग हेयर वी हैव अ वी एफ डी डेनफॉस ब्रांड मॉडल इज वी एल टी एच वी एस सी एफ सी वन हंड्रेड टू सो हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू वाई अप एंड पैरामीटर सेटिंग फॉर दिस थर्टी सेवन किलो वाट मोटर The VFD capacity is 55 kilowatt, but we are using motor 37 kilowatt. So you can see the input side. Here is the input side. Here we supply three-phase input power, 400 volt, and uh, this one side is output for the motor. Output of the VFD. Uh, here we using wiring like this. I don't have actually potentiometer, so di I directly connected. AI1 reference that is 53 with uh, 10 volt analog signal 10 volt that is 50 50 is connected with 53 and uh, analog reference uh, 0 voltage is 54 so such a way you can connect potentiometer i directly make it jumper and here uh, i'm going to set a parameter like uh, Uh, we will start from a pin number 18 uh, this 12 number pin deliver 24 volt for pnp configuration uh, it's work in pnp pnp configuration to 18 number pin and here is uh, interlock for safety safety interlock uh, that is 27 pin number 27 so i make connection short connection in all these point okay now look for the parameter okay so first we will go in main menu from starting we will see uh, this is the operation uh, in zero group from here you can set uh, basic setting and uh, from here you can set the language as you need and uh, motor speed unit in frequency and after move to setup operation uh, active setup this is not so much necessary lcp display if you want to copy your parameter you can do it from here lcp reference uh, or lcp custom readout but we doesn't need for right now now move in the load and motor which is very most important parameter uh from here uh here we are using an open loop so keep it in open loop and motor selection uh this is asynchronous motor normally we are using asynchronous motor motor data you have to fit feed all the data like i am using here 37 kilowatt motor you can change by moving this left to right shift key okay then motor voltage this is the standard here i am using 400 volt so i keep it like this and uh, sorry this is the motor voltage and then motor frequency 50 hertz if you require 60 hertz you can set like then uh, motor current 40 ampere actually it's uh, standard is 65 or 70 ampere but for the safety i am using here 40 ampere uh, motor rpm okay from here you can automatically read the motor parameter adva advanced parameter like impedance reactance and all ama automatic motor adaptation Uh, advanced motor data so stator resistance uh, uh, stator impedance that's all you can set from here <coughs> okay that's it only now if you are using brake resistor so you can enable from here uh, but here i am not using any brake resistor reference rem this also very important reference limit you can set the minimum and maximum Uh, frequency limit from here doesn't necessary ramp one okay from here you can change acceleration and 
deacceleration this is ramp up so you can change acceleration time from here and here is the ramp down time 342 parameter number okay no need more now limits uh, you can set motor limits uh, like uh, motor current current limit and uh, like that speed okay motor speed limit motor speed direction both uh, motor speed limit low, lower limit is zero higher limit i set it uh, 40 okay torque limit here i set 160 and current limit 110% okay so for the safety you can uh, use this parameter motor limit and uh, ah if you want to adjust some warning so over current or under current you can set like here i set warning current high 46 ampere i set here okay i think this only for this group now move in next digital in and out from here you can set your digital input and output here i am using a pnp configuration terminal 27 mode input 0 okay the next uh, terminal 29 you can set as according to your requirement digital input ah oh, yeah from here this is also important parameter terminal 18 digital input i use here for start for start command i am using terminal number 18 you can see here <coughs> Terminal number 18 is used for start command. Okay. Next uh, 19 and all other I didn't use here, so you can use as per your requirement. Relay. If you want to use relay output, uh, I will show you. Okay. Here are two relay you can use for your AC or indication control, AC lamp control. or as per your requirement you can use uh, this relay relay one in this you can uh, set relay one setting in alarm and uh, relay two setting in running so so one relay will work when there will any alarm occur and another will work when the bfd is in running condition so you can see from here okay now I think I completed all these important parameter. Oh, yeah, one more thing here, analog input. This is very important parameter for uh, when you are using analog input, using some potentiometer or external input. So you have to use here low voltage, and here is high voltage. You have to set like this. So I am using here 53 is the analog input signal and uh, 50 is the 10 volts okay that's complete i i completed all these important parameter now you, i can run it uh if you if there is uh, the switch is in off condition so uh, the bfd will not deliver any power so if you are you, you want to use bfd through some switch remote switch so you have to use this auto on now you can see now the vfd is in running condition you can see okay one more thing uh, for the reset function if you want to initialize the vfd you can initialize from here yeah operation mode you can go in operation mode so here is the parameter for initialization if you will okay here in this condition the vfd will initialized for reset so friends hope the video is uh, very informative for you and uh, if you like the video please subscribe share and comment 
if you want more information about any other equipment uh, you can send me comment so i will do as according and uh, thank you friends thank you for watching